So your homework for Friday was to bring a flower to class. Can I see everyone's flower? All right, very cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give each student a half sheet of paper. And what you want to do is on this half sheet of paper, describe your flower with as much detail as possible. Make sure that your flower is not mistaken for any other flower out there because of your description. So I want you guys to work on that now, and I will check what you're doing. I will also give you guys a ruler um, if in case you want to make any measurements for length, width, things like that. Okay. Is everybody finished? Okay, great. So let's hear some of the descriptions you used. Ariana, can I hear about five words you used to describe your flower? Um, the petals are yellow, and some have green on them. What else? Um, there's six petals. All right, you found six petals. A green stem. A green stem. Um, the petals have lines on them. Petals have lines on them, okay. So you saw lines. And one more? Um, the petals are nine centimeters long. Okay. So nine centimeters. All right, Jordan, do you have anything to add that Arna didn't say? Um, I talked about the stem. I think the stem is a bit over four centimeters long. Okay. talked about how the petals were smooth to touch. Okay. And Joe, do you have one other thing to add? Yeah, uh, I had a dark yellow center at the center of my flower. Okay. So your flower had a dark yellow center. Um, and one more thing. It had 13 petals. And it had 13 petals. Okay, great. So it seems like most of you just like to describe the petals and the stem of your flowers. What are some things that you notice between these type of observations versus these observations? I want you to look at these and think about what could be the difference between these and these. Ariana, what do you think? Um, that column all has numbers in it. Okay, great. So you notice that these are all described using numbers. Well, how about these? Exactly. They're only using all words. Scientists have a fancy name for the, these two types of observations. These are called qualitative observations, and they use descriptions to describe something, all right? using only words. Well, these are called quantitative observations. And they use some sort of numbers to describe something, usually with a measuring tool, such as the ruler you use today. So why do you think it's important for scientists to have detailed qualitative and quantitative descriptions? Jared, what do you think? Maybe to be able to like, tell between different flowers, for, uh, for example? Exactly. So let's say that you discovered a new species of flower, and you told me, hey, Brian, I saw this very cool yellow flower. Well. That might be descriptive enough because I also see that this flower looks yellow. So I don't know if you're referring to this flower or this flower. So you have to use enough descriptive words to be able to tell things apart, right? Okay. Observations are also important because they lead to scientific questions. For example, if you look at some of the things you guys said, you might then ask, well, how come your petals are yellow? What makes things yellow? What are some other questions, looking at what you wrote here, that you might ask about your flowers? Joe? Uh, like, I guess, how long each leaf is? Okay, what, a, what about the length of the leaf? What, what question would you ask about? Uh, on average, how long each leaf would be. Okay, so for this type of flower, on average, how long is each leaf? Ariana, do you have a question you might also ask? Um, why does my, my flower have six petals, but Joe's has 13 petals? That's another good question. So yeah, what determines the number of petals on a flower, right? And so that is how scientists develop questions. They observe the world, and then they ask questions about it. They're skeptical about the world, okay? 
So to remember the difference between qualitative observations and quantitative observations, we're going to do a little cheer. So I want everyone to stand up, pump up the energy, and how it's going to work is you guys are going to repeat after me. Sounds good? All right. So we're all going to have, um, start by clapping our legs. We observe to learn about the world. We observe to learn about the world. Qualitative uses words. Qualitative uses words. Detail matters, this I see. Detail matters, this I see. Quantitative, one, two, three. Quantitative, one, two, three. Well done. Was that fun? Yeah.